Hello there, everybody, and welcome to part 38 of Xenoblade Chronicles Definitive Edition. Today is going to start our big round of side quests, so no story progress for a while. So the following is going to be a montage of me clearing out the generic quests that I have yet to do, and yes, we're going to do all of them. Whether I cut to me completing the quests, whether I just speed up and play music, it matters not. We're just going to do this, and we're going to do it proud. So, I will see you guys later for the actual side quest rounds. Finally got all of that done, Jesus. <laughs> Literally the only quest that I have that's incomplete for right now is Powell and Noreen. And again, that's a long-term thing. The rest of these that I got are just fully complete. I wanna just I wanted to just go out of my way to just complete all of these. And also these, the last of the generic quests in uh, Magna Forest and Frontier Village 2 since I was on a roll. So I am absolutely thanking God. I'm absolutely thanking God that I'm done with all that. So we won't have to deal with any more generic quests for a while. Oh my God. <laughs> that was like 15 minutes. That was like a montage of just absolutely everything, dude. A freaking montage. <laughs> okay, so we're at a location that we discovered last time. Uh, we are at the Ether Plant. This place that has generated windmills and everything that I'm assuming keeps something in power. We're not entirely sure about that fact. But yes. we have a uh, Hyantia named uh, Jarek here. Who trades a hunting biter for Ricky, stylish belt, or heal three. Or heal isn't really a gem I use, but if you want it, it's there. A sea berry and an old dragon spine. I probably could have traded with him for the old dragon spine quest, but eh. <laughs> and uh, by over trading with him, I see. you will get murky iluka water. All right. Cool. Hey, Jarek. Uh, you, you got a, You got a, You got. A, you, you got something for me. Yes. You transported over here from the lighthouse, didn't you? Did the lighthouse manager tell you about the problems there? Well, we got our fair share of problems over here as well. Some hoes attacked and damaged one of the turbines. Hmm, a problem. Yeah, that sounds awful. Do you think you could help me? Then I'll be able to get back to the lighthouse. Do you want us to help fix it? This is an amazing machine. I'd love to learn more about it. Of course, Shulk would. It must have been... It must seem amazing to your people. It is not... But it is not a recent creation. It's been there for a long time. 
Hyatia technology is also fascinating. It still looks brand new and works perfectly even after so much time. Ah, uh, though it is broken now. I have two problems that I would like assistance to solve. First, I need you to help repair the wind turbine. Then I want you to punish the whole leader responsible. Are you willing to help? Well, we got a trouble at the plant. So this comes in two big objectives here. We got to punish the Hodes by defeating Funeral Gazra at the Hode Refuge. And mend the plant, which we need three pieces of luxury Hode wood from the Hodes. Which, during that montage, we did get a vision that we, that we needed three of these. So, yes indeed. Yes indeed. Alright. So, to spare clover. Okay. So, where exactly can you find, uh, you know, Funeral Gazra? Well, that's actually relatively simple. All you need to do is just to jump down here. That's, 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 that's all you need to do. <laughs> Seriously, it's just really all you need to do. Honestly, how can anyone in Xenoblade just like, just like jump off of heights and then just fall into the ocean and then they'll be absolutely A-OK? -okay? Like that, that, that must make sense to some, that makes some sense to some people out there. They aren't afraid of that. They aren't. Okay, so uh, here we are at the Hode Refuge. And uh, according to uh, according to quests, uh, these two kinds of Hodes, aka the Possessio Hode and another one, uh, they have the uh, luxury wood that you need. So you can just go ahead and uh, do that. Um, I believe nobody learned any new arts during all that. Uh, we got we did get skills learnt, but uh, no new arts, no new arts. Okay, so we get Starlight Kick and do that. Yes, I don't know what I don't know what everyone's waiting for. I don't know what anyone's waiting for, given the fact that you know. There we go. Fine ponytail, come on, give me the big, give me the big one, yeah! <laughs> I say, give me the big boys, give me the big boy, give me the big boys. We got a whole bunch of collectibles here. Yeah, pink asparagus, dilemma rock. Uh, oh jeez, oh gee, oh gee, oh gee, little oh, jeez. Okay, that's level forty. Uh, yeah, we're not strong enough to. Uh, have them be completely scared of us. So uh, let's let's just move on. Okay, so in here, in here, uh, we got some more hoads, but we also have Tokos or Luga. So just in case you're not fond of the ones at one of the at a Kataral Seal Island. Which was one of the places where we needed to be in order to get to Prison Island. Uh, you can just go over here to the Hold Refuge. It's easy to get to. And it really shouldn't take you that long to uh, kill them. Especially considering if you have Shulk, Ryan, and Dumben in the party. Again, the high damage party really helps. Really, really helps in uh, speeding up the process. You'll be able to gain a lot of affinity because of that. And... And you'll be able to do chain attacks for a lot for a lot longer. So, yes. Aha! There we go. We got him. We got the we got the mend the plant that we need. But there's another one. Uh, we need. Oh God! I I really should have. No, we're not doing that because there are a bunch of item or there there are a bunch of collectibles over there. I refuse to say, I refuse to say, I, I refuse, I refuse to say, <laughs> I refuse to say the word item orb because they are collectibles, not item orbs. What am I talking about, sir and or madam? Also, um, before I go any further, uh, I changed up uh, Shulk and Melia's equipment. 
But everybody else has made appearance changes. Shulk looks like he's ready to go into the military, even though we're not really doing any story stuff. Ryan is showing off his pecs. Dumban's got his old classic, classic outfit on, which I actually do like a little bit. Uh, Ricky's got just colony type stuff. I believe at this point right here. Oh, and also I gave ruby glasses to Melia because now you can actually change your head equipment. Well, you could always change your head equipment, but in terms of fashion gear, now you can change her uh, headgear. So, if you ever wanted to, uh, if you ever wanted to go through the entire game with uh, Melia's uh, ceremonial mask that she wore during the trial of the High Antia Tomb, then there you go. If you ever wanted to see Melia with glasses, there you also go. And if you ever wanted to actually see Melia with Tyrea's mask on and also this really cool crown too, uh, you can go ahead and do that. <laughs> but I like to see people's faces during uh, cutscenes. So yeah, we're keeping that. We're, we're, we're going to keep that. But honestly, I think I like Melia with glasses. So I think we're just going to stick with that. The ruby glasses give Ether up five to. Uh... Oh, by the way, this is what Charlotte looks like now. Um, the Ether, the ruby glasses that we got from the High Antia Tomb, actually give Ether up five, which is actually really good for Melia because you know she's the Ether, she's the Ether character and all that. She uses Ether in her attacks, so it's really, really good for uh, Melia, honestly. But now, uh, we got, a uh, bigger, we got bigger things to deal with. We gotta defeat Funeral Gazra and the whole bunch of hordes that also come into play here, too. And now, uh, this is actually a good point to show off, uh, what, uh, tr what truly capable, uh, Soaring Tempest is with Heat Haze on. So, let's, uh, do that. And now... Soaring Tempest with Heat Haze. Look at this. Look at that party gauge go up. Like, Jesus Christ. Like, something that I probably should have mentioned, or maybe I already have, I probably don't remember, is the fact that party gauge gain also counts on critical hits, a.k.a. when the numbers grow big like that. Like, if you get bigger numbers than usual, that means you got a critical hit. And in a group of enemies, like much like this one, you can pretty much just absolutely get infinite chain attacks. You can basically perform infinites on uh, on monsters. In this case, Funeral Gazra. Like, it's so utterly busted. I kind of really like it, but again, I'm not going to... But I'm not I'm not gonna say that it's not situational though. Because it honestly really is situational. So if you're ever doing like um, a situation where you're where you're um, fighting a group of enemies, then Soaring Tempest will obviously obviously do very well for you. Funeral Goswar will drop the Orluga sacks that you need slacks that you need for a for a quest. So, there you go. I don't know why I didn't even bother to, uh, honestly, I don't really know why I even bothered to, uh, just go out of my way to do things the hard way. I, I wanted to do things, like, the easy way, but, uh, you know, eh. <laughs> I mean, it's fine, it's fine, it's it's all good. I just wanted to go around to Eretz Sea a little bit, because we, we haven't really gotten the opportunity to explore around Eretz Sea all that much, because there was just... Too much stuff going on in the story, man. Way too much stuff going on in the good old-fashioned story. Also, Jarek is right there. I don't know what makes him so special as to go over there rather than over here, but... Does he actually trade items? Because one thing that I absolutely... No, he doesn't. One thing that I absolutely missed out on is when Ewan was at Satoru Marsh, he trades, like, the very last item that you need called the Forget-Me-Not to complete the Satoru Marsh Collectipedia. And yes. it's just like, 
how could I miss that? So, how could I absolutely miss that? Anyway, uh, now Derek is wanting us, you know, the people who don't know crap about machines except Shulk, to fix the plant that he's maintaining so that he can just basically look out into this absolutely sexy view. Which, honestly, I absolutely do not blame him in the slightest at all. I don't know why he just doesn't do it himself, but whatever. Fine. Be a lazy bones. Yes. Thank you ever so much. The wind turbine seems to be back in perfect working order. Yeah, boy. Yeah, boy. Also, hello. Yes. It appears that you have done everything I asked of you. The wind turbine is once again working perfectly thanks to you. I could hear the Hodes leader's death cries all the way from here. Really? From all the way over here? Like, the 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 guy roared so loud at his death that you could hear him from all the way up, like mi like probably a mile above. I don't have to worry about him anymore. I hope I was of some help. Of course you were. I'll try not to let those hoads do any more damage. I'm so glad I turned to you for help. Ah, uh, anytime. Thanks, man. But really, thank you for the experience and the uh, equipment and stuff. Cool. Hold on there. Can you hear that? What's that flapping sound? Sorry, I've got to hide. Take care of those things. Hold attack. Defeat two confusion echidnos. Ooh. Ooh, mama. Oh, mama mia. Shulk got a level up from that. Mama mia. We got two level 37 of those guys. Right here and right there. I don't think anyone... Actually, no. Nobody learned a new art. Okay, good. So, you know what? I'm just I'm, I'm just gonna go in with my uh, high damage party since these confusion... Echidnos are not really going to be that difficult to deal with at all. All right. So, of course, we got the confusion echidnos. I don't know if they actually do cause confuse or, or not, but, uh, you know, we'll, I guess we'll find out. I mean, they can poison you, which is cool. I don't tend to know the... Uh, I don't tend to know, like, all the details about every single enemy known to man. Like, even Mr. Xenoblade doesn't actually, uh, know, like, all the, probably, well, know all the details. Maybe they probably do. Maybe they, maybe he does, maybe he doesn't. I don't know. But what I do know is that I'm going to get one free segment of the party gauge. All filled up. Just like that. Oh, my God. What do you mean you activated Blossom Dance ahead of me? Y'all don't even know. Y'all don't even know, man. Ultra Paralyzed Blast 3. That's the talent art. Yeah. You, do you really think that's going to really stop me? Yes. You do. But you're dead. I should really do some gem crafting off screen, shouldn't I? I really should, because we've been getting a lot of level 3 crystals lately, and we're starting to get level 4 gems. So, yeah, we're going to start that pretty soon. Razor, Razor Tiesel. Dilemma Rock. A rock that causes dilemma. And a tropical radish. Yes. Does he actually trade anything new while he's down here? No, he does not. All right. Cool. Yes. That was terrifying. They were really out to get us. You, they must have come for revenge. I suppose it's only natural. You did kill their leader. It's a good thing you were here. If I was by myself, those things would eat me for sure. Or you know, you could just fall off the uh, fall off the island, and then you'll be okay. Well, that's that. Yes, our work here is done. Sarah's lighthouse will be in danger if I don't go soon. I must hurry. 
And there we go. Hold attack is done. The ether plant should be safe. Finally! We get buff time plus two. So that extends just gem buffs by 30%. So that could be cool. All right. Nice. Very nice. And we got three more item orbs, actually. Or collectibles. Collectimables. They are collectimables. Thank you very much. Uh, that, that, what, where, where did the name item orbs come from anyway? I'm going to try one more time to get this uh thing that I need for the Satoru Mars Collectopedia. So hold on just one second. Oh, the very... <laughs> The very last item that I got from the thing. Oh my god. Oh my god. Finally. Dude. Dude. Oh my god. I'm so happy. <laughs> Jungle shoes for filling out all the flowers in Satoru Mars. And for completing the uh, Satoru Mars thing. You get a panther top, which is outdated equipment already. Oh my god. 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 Okay. Okay. All right. All right. And by the way, I promise you, I promise you this. We're going to fill out all of the Collectopedias. We're going to fill out like all of the Collectopedias in all the areas so far. Well, with the exception of Other and uh, Bionis Interior, because we don't have to worry about that for right now. Um, before we reach uh, Valak Mountain, okay? So we're, we're, we're going to do that. We're going to do that. And I promise you we're going to be... <sighs> Absolutely and utterly just fine. <laughs> oh, I'm so happy we can finally we can finally do that. Oh my god. Oh. 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 Ah. Oh. E. <laughs> okay. I just had to jump for joy because I'm just absolutely so happy. Anytime after Prison Island, you can go over here to the Ascension Hall. And you want to go to the audience chamber. Because now that you've witnessed the absolutely gorgeous and sexy experience that was Prison Island. <laughs> okay. Now that you experience Prison Island, uh, you can actually go up here and uh, talk with some important people. Okay. Lord Thea, I, I I forgot how much you got to glow up here. Like, jeez. And Shulk's almost as tall as you. Or is as tall as you. <laughs> oh. The anti-mechon response meeting shall be held shortly. There, are the, there, the Ministry of Research will announce its findings. <laughs> oh. It's amazing to think that we could retrieve such a thing. Nothing. Just speaking to myself. Don't forget, be careful. What you holding out on me and where can I get one? <laughs> like, where where can I get one? There's a heart to heart between Shulk and Melia, but yeah, we're not gonna be viewing it for a while. Kalyan, buddy. Hi. Good day. Good day. Forgive me, but may I please speak to my sister? I have something that I wish to give to her. My apologies. Please excuse us. But Melia's right there in the party, dude. What's up, my brother? Good day. You look really cool for a high end here, man. Melia, this is a keepsake from Father. Please take it. Father would have wanted to fight beside you in battle. Please keep him close by you. I have placed a great burden on you. Please forget my failing forgive my failings as an elder brother. But keep this with you always. Not only father, but I too will be by your side. Do not forget this and stay safe on your journey. Please take it, crown princess. The Imperial Staff. This is a really good weapon for Melia. In fact, it's such a good weapon, in fact, that we're just going to remove all weapon gems from this. And, yeah... Much like Gadol's rifle, um, once you get this, um, you don't really need anything else. <laughs> like, if I'm going to be perfectly honest with you, you don't really need anything else. 
Like, you can literally just go through basically kind of sort of the whole kind of sort of the whole game once you get this or the rest of the game like this and you'll be absolutely a okay just as long as you set up the proper gems on the uh, imperial staff because this is a three slot weapon so yeah d d just do it man d do it go ahead go ahead and uh go to town uh does that also... Ah, it's fine. Uh, you know, I think I'll just uh, go for the... Uh... Eh, Aether. Why not? I, I if, if all else fails, then I'm going to stick with just Aether. Because, again, Aether, Melee is the Aether person. All right. And uh, there we go. We get that little special scene between uh, Melee and in Kalyan right there. Really nice. Very nice. And now we shall move on to the next subject. Which, uh, by the way, um, we didn't really see it before. But look at this place, man. Look at this. Melia's got a good... Melia's got a good with this. Nice little setup. Uh, can you actually... Go I, I don't think I've ever even bothered to go here. At least to my memory. Because there's really nothing here. I thought like a collectible would be here. Like mainly the collectibles are on the main part of Alchemoth, which is the lower levels. But uh, hmm. weird. There's a heart to heart right here, but you can't view it yet until you get to a certain point. And there's also a red portal here. Um, if you're wonder if you've been wondering what these uh, red portals are all about, uh, don't worry. Because during the side quest one run, uh, we'll be able to go over what these are. So you just have to wait just a little bit longer. Just a little bit longer. Anyway, um, over here at the Fountain of Eternity. Eternity, Eternity, Eternity. Um, I believe uh, one of these two will have a quest. And that would be Zane. Sup, bro? Are you that? Are you that? Hey, got any emergency rations? We need them right away. Tell me in greater detail. I know I ain't the one to speak, but she could she could have asked more politely. She's cold as ice, that one. Oh no, can she hear what I'm thinking? Nah, no way. That's impossible. <laughs> she ain't a mind reader, buddy. It's an absolute must for our latest adventure. We're not going to be able to make it there and back in just a few days. That's why we need rations to keep fair, to keep that'll keep for a fair while. From what I learned, Orluthus liver works best for rations. And get it from Lake Bet or Luthus near Colony Nine. Like, how do you know that? I can't make it down there, so could you get it for me, please? I don't get it. Why don't you just hunt the animals there to eat? Sadly, that's not possible. Where we're going, there's not much in the way of edible fauna. So that's why we need rations. Please, God, I'll do anything but go to Agora Shore. Please don't make me. Please don't make me go there because it will take a while. Why didn't you freaking just just go for for the preparing for Adventure Three? Because apparently that's still a good joke. Okay, so unfortunately, this means we got to go to Agora Shore in Colony Nine. I'll help you too. N no, I, I do not mind. I mean. Thank you. Ah, oh, we're seeing we're seeing inklings of what could be. <laughs> Although it's pretty clear that you know, Shulk and Fiora wins. Okay, so anyway, anyway, um, <laughs> yeah, we gotta go. <laughs> oh my god, I'm, I'm just gonna shut shut the ever loving gank up and just just go, man. I, I'm just gonna go to Agora freaking sure and just go. Before we take care of that guy, which is over there, Lake Bed or Luthus, I want to actually go over here to discover a new location because I don't believe we have Anti-Air Battery 2 as a location yet. And I think that might be the last location I need to fill in Colony 9 as a map. Yes, indeed. All right, so this is the, uh, that's the full Colony 9 map. 
We're all right here. <laughs> like, I don't know why I could have couldn't have just done this like before. I I really don't know. But yeah, uh, yeah. Don't really know why, but there you go. So I, I'm I'm just gonna basically rely on my uh, good old high damage party for this. Because Lake Bed or Luthus is the uh, first ever uh, turtle. I want I want to I wanted to take a look at this thing. Like, look at this guy. It's got like, he's got like trees growing out of the thing. Like, it's like you know, Tartara and the World Tree and all that or whatever. Like the Earth Tree, the Earth Turtle, the Earth Turtle. And it's got like the and it's got like a fin of a fish. Like, I like this thing's design. I think it looks really good. Like, for a giant turtle. It, it kind of looks like something out of, like, Avatar The Last Airbender, I think. You know, without it being, like, completely related to, like, the line turtle thing that gave Aang the powers near the end. So I think that's cool. Yeah! There it is. We end on the good old-fashioned Rhine of Time. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And for clearing that unique monster, you get clear tortoise soup, gel bottoms, climb gear, and queen frog. That's ether up two and back attack plus. I'm using sneaky and bitey on the same on the same art set, so. Could be good. Could be uh, really good, actually. What's up, man? Are you that? So this is the Oluthus liver. I'm really in your debt. Now we're ready for adventure. We're ready to leave whenever. Kralth and me are really looking forward to this adventure. When we get back, I'll tell you all about it. The adventure. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> this is thanks from both of us. You did an amazing job. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. The Mithril set is all ours. Yes, indeed. And they don't have any more quests. So, cool beans. Cool beans. All right. So, uh, there's actually a heart-to-heart -heart that we can view right here. And right now. Let's view a mysterious sanctuary. It's between Melia and Ricky, who've had some history before. I guess. This place seems incredibly mysterious, Ricky. Yes, this is mysterious sanctuary called Prophecy Hut. So this is where the Nopon received their prophecies. Mary, right? Mary know how Nopon get prophecy? As much as I would like to think that Chief Dunga makes them up, no. Wowee, Mary! Mary know lots about Nopon. Eret C sits above the village. Looking at it from here gives me a strange feeling. Ah! Ricky, no! Ricky figured it all out! What have you figured out, Ricky? I know who you think is extra especially special! Uh, Let's humor him. Yes! Merry Rat! When Merry cuddle Ricky, how Merry feel? When I cuddle you feels warm and calming. Like, I can forget about everything. Ricky happy happy! That's why Ricky become here upon to be cuddled by Melly. So that's why. I see now. Melly and Ricky both love cuddle. Melly can stroke Ricky's fur and cuddle Ricky anytime. That's very kind of you, Ricky. Make sure you look after your fur. <laughs> That's cute, man. That's really cute. He's so, it's so cute. Oh, man. Oh, man. <laughs> it's so adorable. Man, Melly and, Melly and Ricky, they're, they're, they're really, they're really, they're, they're quite, they're quite the adorableness. They are quite the adorableness. Now, I'm going to check to see if there's any more side quests that I need to get done. If there isn't, then I'll pro, oh, wait, there is. All right. Um, if this is what I think it is, then we might be. Oh. oh. 
Ho, 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 ho. I think I know what that is. I think I know what that is. Okay, so um, yes. before we close out, uh, Jarek here will actually be over here now. He trades the same things. And as for Miss Shaylin, uh, she will trade Iron Pike, Prototype Helm, Physical Defense Down 1, which is pretty good, actually. Pink Asparagus, and a Helm Coin Purse that you need for a quest. If you happen to overtrade with her, What's that? then you'll get a Silver X Plate. I believe that's for a quest. Wings of Nobility! I believe that's for knowing every single... I believe that achievement is for getting to know every single Hyantia, named Hyantia, I believe. Oh, yeah. And, uh, by the way, um, during the montage, we got the achievement Elementary, which basically means defeat 30 Aether-based monsters. And I believe we got Quantum Killer Combo. Yes. Use the chain attack to deal a total of 100,000 damage. And yeah, the high damage party of Shulk grinding dumb band ain't nobody's fool, buddy. What is it? And of course, right over here, we have the uh, good old fashioned shop. So, got Love Biter, which we don't really need that. They're all unique equipment. Uh, outdated. Clearly outdated. Very outdated. Um, good, but I'd rather keep, um, I'd rather keep Gattle's rifle. Uh, not got good for Dumbbell at all. And, uh, for that, yeah. Okay, so, each of these has a unique, uh, gem in it. Earth Cloak for the Love Biter. Quitter for, uh, Quitter has a first attack plus three. Uh, HP up four for assault in our staff. The King Frog has Aerial Cloak. Electric plus three and Aether up two, which can be good if you really want to use Thunder Bullet and other Aether based attacks on Charlotte, but yeah, I'd rather just keep the uh, that. Bleed plus three, which I don't think that's even worth losing all that minimum and max auto attack. But the uh, Dinostrar has Night Vision 2. This is a gem that increases accuracy during, during the nighttime. And believe me, Night Vision is going to be really, really important for what's going to happen later, for what's going to happen later down the road. So just keep in mind, keep in mind that. that. Uh, nothing really. I don't want to change equipment like too soon. But this is just to help me, you know, get ready for that. And, well, the shorts can be pretty good, actually. And finally, for art books, uh, we only have three that we haven't gotten yet, actually. Uh, Serene Heart, Tempest Kick, and uh, Heal Counter. All right, then. All right, then. Cool. And there's a heart-to-heart -heart that's right here, too. Next time on Xenoblade Definitive Edition, we take care of, well, more quests. Because what else are we going to do? Because we're just dragging along Alvis for the ride. I'm sorry, buddy. I'm sorry, dude. But you're going to have to wait because we have monsters to kill. We have people to help. And we got to look at this really cool green water, which in other places around the world, that would probably be disgusting. But in Xenoblade, it's too beautiful. See you guys on the next time. Thank you for watching, and goodbye.